guys, so today we're going to play um, war with three numbers. So it's kind of like playing Top It. We've played Top It before where we add two cards together and then the bigger cards wins. This time we're going to play adding three cards together to see which player wins. Okay, so I'm going to tip my camera down so you can see it. And the very first thing I did was I took out all of my tens. So I took out all of my 10 cards and I also took out all my face cards, my picture cards, okay? I'm just gonna set those aside. The next way, next thing you do is put your deck of cards in the middle, okay? And then each player draws three cards and sets them in front of them. Now, we've been working all week on trying to decide how to add two numbers together, right? What's gonna be our best method? Well, when we're adding three numbers together, the very first thing we want to look for is, can I make 10? Okay, so for example, this is player one, player two, okay? If I look at player two's cards, I can see right off the bat he has six and four. Six and four make 10. And if I add one more, I have 11. Player two has 11. If I look at player one's cards, I don't see anything I can do to make 10. But I do notice that I could come close to making 10, right? I know that five and five is 10, so that must mean that five and four is nine, and then I can count up. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Player two has 11, player one has 12. Player one wins. So that player is gonna keep all the cards that they win. Okay, let's do one more just to be thinking about it. Draw your three cards. Oh, that one's got a missing chunk. Okay, and again, I'll start with player two. Player two has two cards that make 10. Can you tell what they are? Seven and three make 10. So 10 and six is 16. Player two has 16. Hmm. Now, I still don't see any way for player one to make a 10, but I do know that if I do my borrow an egg for nine and five, right? If nine goes next door to make 10, borrows an egg from five, now it's 10 and four. So I have 14 and 15, 16, okay? Ooh, they are tied. So if you end up with a tie, you each draw one more card. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18. So player one wins this round. Now what I want you to be careful of is it's super easy to just draw cards and count dots, okay? The idea here is not to count dots. The idea is that you are looking for numbers that come together to make 10, or maybe you're finding a doubles fact, or maybe you're finding a plus one. So what I don't want you to do is just counting all the dots. That's not counting math, right? We did that in preschool and kinder. Now we're on to like figuring out what do we know about these numbers to add them together, okay? So as you're playing the game, see if you can think of other strategies that you might use to add three numbers together. And if you're playing with a learning partner or an adult, <clears throat> have them help you. Maybe think of some of those and be sure that you're not counting dots. No dot counting. I want to see you using some math strategies to add those three numbers. Okay, so have fun with Top It and you're counting, you're using three card Top It.